Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingwebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to enable search engine friendly URLs in PrestaShop. In other words, what search engine friendly URLs does is it actually takes uh, product pages and uh, category pages and it takes the URL and it actually converts it into a search engine friendly URL. For example, right here on the category page you'll see that the URL actually contains the file name and the query and what it does is it actually takes the name of your category and it adds that to the URL rather than this uh, file name and query right here and it will do the same for your product pages it will basically take the title of your item and it will add it to the URL of your uh, product pages so to enable search engine friendly URLs simply go to your admin panel and then go to preferences and then go to SEO and URLs and down here in the setup URL section you will see that PrestaShop is telling us that we should add a .ht access file so you can copy this file name like so and you can open up your FTP client and simply add that file to the root directory and simply create a new file there so I simply click on create new file here note that I'm using FileZilla if you need a free FTP client you can always download FileZilla at filezilla-project.org and then simply enter in the name here and that is .htaccess.htaccess -E and click on OK and then simply change the file permissions for this file to 666 which is again what PrestaShop is recommending as specified here and now simply turn on friendly URLs note that accented URLs isn't necessary for Latin languages so if you are using the English language you do not need to turn this on but for uh, languages that need uh, non-Latin characters you should turn this on in my case I will leave it off and I'll click on save and then here for disable Apache multi views option I'm going to leave this disabled and I'm also going to leave uh, disable Apache's mod security module off. Note that you should actually enable this if you're experiencing any problems with your PrestaShop uh, store. What you can always do is you can test out your store and see whether all the URLs are working correctly and if they are you can leave it as is. If not then you would need to actually uh, maybe turn this on depending on your situation. So always check that out, see if everything is working correctly and if it is you can just leave these as so. And then click on save and then here in the set shop URL right here in base URL if press the shop is installed in your root directory you just leave it like this with forward slash. Now if it's in a subdirectory for example like press the shop you would enter in press the shop like so so it would basically be forward slash press the shop forward slash and then you would click on save but since mine is in the root directory I just have that one forward slash so now when we go to our store you can see that our home page was actually redirected from the index.php file that is because we also have this uh, redirect to canonical URL here enabled and when we go to our category page you will see that we have the category name in the URL and same goes for the product page as you can see we have the product uh, title in the URL and we also have the category in the URL note that you can actually change the format of these URLs by going down here and where it says route to products for example if you want to remove the category you simply remove this category right here in the curly brackets and you click on save note that the ID is always required as shown here with the asterisk and this is specified here as well so do not remove values with asterisks next to them so for example now when I click on save and I go back home and then I click on a category once more and I go back to my page you will see that the category is gone from the URL but note that you should actually do this before actually uh, going live with your shop because if you actually uh, modify the format of these URLs PrestaShop doesn't redirect the old URL to the new URL 
So by actually uh, modifying the URL after going live, you might actually experience problems with your visitors trying to access the page that once was actually using a different URL format. So you really want to do this before going live to prevent any problems with your store. So what I'll do now is I'll actually add this uh, category back with the curly brackets like so. And note that if you want to remove, for example, the EA and 13 here, you simply remove the value with the curly brackets. And if you want to add other values, uh, Press the Shop basically tells you which other values you can add to the URL. So now I'm just going to save. And now when I go back to my page, I have the category back in here. As for other SEO features here, you can always change the pages on your site. You can change the SEO format of them by simply editing a page. For example, let's edit the best sales page here. And as you can see, we can always change the URL here. And what we can do is we can change the page title, the meta description, the keywords, etc. Personally, I recommend uh, changing the index page right here. I don't actually recommend adding a written URL because it's actually the index page. So the index page doesn't need one. And as you can see, Press the Shop doesn't actually let us add a URL because uh, it isn't needed. But what I do recommend changing is the meta description here and the page title. For example, I would use a page title that actually describes uh, your business right here and I would add it and then I would click on save. And now to create a robots text page, simply go back to SEO and URLs here and scroll down to the bottom and as you can see here Press the Shop is telling us that we need to have a robots.txt file in our uh, root directory so we simply copy this and we go to our uh, FTP client so we create our file and we simply enter in robots.txt and then what we do is we go down to that page right there and we change the permissions to 666 as press the shop instructs us to do and we click on OK and now what we do is we simply click on save once more and now when we go down we will see that it's telling us that we can generate the file so we click on generate robots.txt file here and now we have that file created and we can actually access that file and check to see whether it looks right by going to our domain forward slash robots.txt and here it is. We have our robots.txt file which basically tells robots which uh, directories and files they should not access on our site. So basically that's that. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.